So we're here exploring the Aurelian Walls kind of park area. Uh, we're going to a free museum, one of the many free museums here in Rome. And uh, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Pretty impressed so far. I like it. Alright, we're walking around Rome. We are at the Aurelian Walls. And uh, we're trying to figure out how to. Uh, there's like a gate access up here where you can go up on top of the wall. So we're trying to figure out how to get there, and um, yeah, pretty cool. We started our day by walking around the Parco degli Scipioni, just off the old Via Appia, and just inside the Aurelian Wall Complex. Wow. I have really bad allergies, so can't stop sneezing, but it's pretty cool. This is going to be a day of exploring free museums and general exploration of Rome, as we were planning another big outing on the bike for the next day. This museum didn't offer a whole lot in the way of exhibits, as it mostly just housed the Roman toys made over the past centuries. But there was a really cool map displaying the original defensive walls around Rome, and the view from the top was unbelievable. I love the uh, Roman countryside, it's so beautiful looking. It's, it's very picturesque and it's kind of very, exactly what you imagine Roman countryside looks like. Like rolling green hills and then like the, those, I don't know, the cypress trees that come straight up and then like the big mushroomy shape. I mean, it just, it's picturesque, I don't know, it's gorgeous. Porto San Sebastiano is the largest and best preserved gate in the Aurelian walls surrounding Rome. Constructed in 275 AD by Emperor Aurelian, it was originally called the Porto Appia as it guards the southern entrance to Rome on the Appian Way with its utterly breathtaking and dominating height. Pretty sweet job. I would have built my foot a little bit better, but... So we're out here walking along the Appian walls, and I gotta say, it is pretty sweet. What do you think? I like it, I like it. The Aurelian walls around Rome were built between 271 and 275 AD, and were meant to replace the outdated and original Servian walls. Rome had outgrown the original walls and desperately needed protection, as the threat of the Germanic tribes that were starting to overrun the frontier regions of the Roman Empire grew ever larger. Come to the end of the road, my friend. Filming you, <laughs> I couldn't imagine the fear one must have of trying to attack such a large fortress almost 2,000 years ago. After our afternoon adventure, it was time to recharge our batteries with some absolutely delicious pizza and soup leaf. Fried, cheesy, and spicy rice balls. Next, we headed to the park surrounding the Villa Borghese and another free art museum. We spent all of about 10 minutes inside before heading back to the park. What's the art museum? Garbage. Wouldn't recommend that. As a professional art collector yourself, what do you think of the personal pieces? Of uh, you know, look like a, uh, maybe a third grader did it. It's free. That's what you get when you go to 
History Museum, I suppose. Rome is such a beautiful city to just ride around that as sunset approached, we just cruised around enjoying the many wonderful sights and sounds of the Eternal City. Because a uh, lint. After watching an amazing sunset, we decided it was time for more savory Mediterranean food before another wine night and early rise. <laughs> Good, huh? Coming up, Samson and I take another epic ride on the motorbike up into the mountains of Italy to see the famous and extremely large Hadrian's Villa. This emperor's complex was so large it could easily be mistaken for a small city. After that, we ride up into the picturesque town of Tivoli for some more mountain exploration and food before heading back to Rome for a night walk around the city alongside a few cocktails. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel it's a fast and easy way to keep our adventure going. Also, please like, share, or comment on any of our videos. And check out our Patreon page, where you can become a supporter and join the gang of Eastbound and Up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. What happened last night? Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> the Sam tonight, that's what it was. Just when I thought you couldn't be any dumber, <laughs> go and do something like this and totally redeem yourself. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, and we're still filming. <laughs> <laughs>